they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frown. Can't hop out, then we clearing the crowd. So, what's up, guys? We're on a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today, we got a special guest. Blur, blur, what's good? It's your boy Dave from the grave. Some you lose some. Yeah. Lose my bitch, I'ma go get a new one. Swear. Lost my Glock, had to go buy a new gun. Brand new whip, blast off Jimmy Neutron. Uh, stepping on shit with no shoes on. Dave from the grave. Yeah, Dave from the grave. I gotta ask, what inspired that name? Shit, <laughs> I was dead broke. I jumped out the grave. Niggas left me for dead, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I thought shit was sweet. Okay. Oh, so now you coming back? Yeah, everything moving? Coming back to wreck shit. Yeah, you know, everything blurry right now, for sure. Okay, so I'm going to play a quick game so the people can get to know you. Uh -huh. I'm asking you a question. Just answer as quick as you could. First thing that comes to mind. Okay, what's your sign? Scorpio. Last thing you bought? Um, uh, Some gas. <laughs> Locked in studio, one person, who would it be? Um, uh, Shit, myself. Best song ever? Best song ever. Mm -hmm. Um, that's hard. <laughs> Fucking um, myself. What song? Myself, Day from the Grave. Okay, yourself. Okay, okay, okay. Day from the Grave. My, I got a song called Myself. That got bit, it. That bit. That's that blur. Got it. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Best thing about Florida? You're from Florida, right? Yeah. Best thing about Florida? Shit, the culture. Okay. Favorite car? Favorite car. I fought with them, um, I fought with them Bentleys, I ain't gonna lie. Them Bentleys hard. Mm -hmm. We be riding motherfucking, um, Chargers and Donks and shit out there in Florida and shit, but as far as, like, favorite car, I definitely gotta give me a nice ass Bentley when I get blurred. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, the first celebrity you slid into their DMs? First celebrity? I ain't never slid no celebrity DMs. Okay. Okay, um, craziest DM you ever got? Um, a bitch just asked me the other day if she could kiss it. I don't know what she meant by that. <laughs> but <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, a conspiracy theory you think is real? Um <clears throat> aliens. Okay. And last one, I would say what's your hardest bar? Rap my us your hardest, hardest bar. bar. Yeah. Um hit us with it. Shit, my hardest bar. Shit. A hard one. It don't have to be the hardest one, but you know. A I'm good great. one. He was like, Yeah, this some shit. Oh, great. What's a good one? I got shit. Let me see. <laughs> um, I said, <laughs> I said, um, bitch said, don't forget about when I blow up. But if I don't blow up, that bitch gonna forget me. I'm um, play. Okay. All right. So, you're from Florida. I guess tell us a little bit about the Florida culture out there. Like, how was it trying to make music and go up out there? Shit, you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of, um, I mean, you know, Florida turned right now. A lot of niggas know what's going on, so folks working together, but overall it's kind of like crab, crabs in the bucket type shit, you feel me? But, okay. but, um, besides that though, man, Florida lit, you know, we got a lot of five, five people coming out from the rap side, the producer side, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? All that shit, even like the cameraman is like, everybody just coming together, going crazy on shit. So okay. yeah, that'd be legendary for sure. On grade. Okay, so do you travel a lot, you feel like? Yeah, so. Sure. What's kind of like your favorite place to go visit? My favorite place might be New York. Oh, shit. It <laughs> might be. I ain't gonna lie. I follow <laughs> New York because, like, when I'm out here, it's like everybody just hustling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just, I just see dollar hustling. signs. Every time I wake up out of this bitch, I just see dollar signs, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? This shit busy. Yeah, it definitely keeps you on your toes. Mm hmm So, um, I mean, so what you did so far since you've been here? Shit, what I did, I went to Bel Air, got drunk as fuck. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? Took a little photo shoot in that beer. Mm -hmm. I went and hollered at them folks at Runts. You know okay. what I'm saying? Shout out to Runts, by the way. They, they gave your boy a couple couple blurs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Gave mm -hmm. me a little Runts pan and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else we did out here? Oh, you know? so networking and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, networking shit like that. Okay. Do you feel like you have, it's like places like that out in Florida to do that, or it's much harder? Or what do you think? It's, it's, it's places out there in Florida to do it. They just like, you know, Florida-based shit, but it's it's hella shit, hella places to, like where you <laughs> can do that type of shit in Florida for okay. sure. Okay, cool. Okay, so getting into music, when did you say you got started? Shit, I got started like, um... Probably like three years ago type shit as far as like taking it serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like three years ago. Okay. And um, I guess like what, what motivated you? Like what made you finally go in that studio that one day? 
Shit. You remember? I just felt like I just felt like um, as far as like, cause I've been I've been I've been like rapping this shit since I was a jit, you know what I'm saying? But as far as like me getting in that bitch and taking it serious, I just was like watching a lot of motherfuckers blow up, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I felt like you know I I I was more than talented enough and shit like that to get get okay. get there. You feel me? So was people fucking with your first song? It took them some time to grow on you. Like, well, yeah, how was yeah, that? It, it took folks some time to, to realize <laughs> the blur. You know what I'm saying? Realize what the fuck a nigga talking about. You know what I'm okay. saying? But yeah, that shit. Once that shit. Once that shit clicked, that bill was that bill was Gucci for sure. Okay, and then who was inspiring you growing up? Like, who was you listening to? I listened to like Lil Wayne, fucking um, Jeezy, Gucci. Um, okay. Who was hot back then too? Like, fuck. Some lyrical like people and stuff. Yeah, like facts. That. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And then, you know, you know, you had your motherfucking the turn up niggas and shit, the soldier boys and shit like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You was you a dancer back in the day or you was more so like the hardcore rapping? Like, what you think you was? As far as rap, I was never yeah. like, a, I definitely wasn't a dance rapper. You know what I'm saying? I but, know, but you but heard I, those but songs. I used to, I used used to crank to that soldier boy and shit, a couple <laughs> shit like that. Yeah, I get jiggy on a bit, hit a Wu Tang on a bit quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. And then, um, if you wasn't doing music, what do you think you would have been doing? Um, if I wasn't doing going music, going to school or something, or nah, if I wasn't doing music, I'd probably be be um be a fucking actor or some shit. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Some acting oh, shit. Yeah, I think my acting skills real blurry. What kind of role you think you need to be? Like a gangster, the funny one? Like I'll be like I'll be like a motherfucking like a Tom Cruise type of nigga. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, like shooting shit and all yeah, that crazy real shit. Real action, real adventure action and shit. You know what I'm saying? Jumping out the grave and shit like that. You <laughs> feel me? Okay. Okay, so um, so I guess it seemed like you took like a hiatus from social media for a little minute. Mm-hmm. What happened? You just disappeared on everybody. Yeah, that social media <laughs> shit get kind of aggravating. I ain't gonna lie, it's like, no, the, it does. you know, that shit be tedious. It's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. You feel me? Sometimes mm-hmm. you just you know take a little break from that shit and and realize real life. You feel me? Because mm-hmm. it's real life shit. This was really matter. You get what I'm saying? So you know. So um, what happened? You feel like the fame was coming too fast? It was a lot going on. Like I feel like um, yeah, it was a lot. Because you was on. blowing then, up like, quick. Yeah, with that record. you know, um, I've been telling myself because like this shit, this celebrity shit, be real. Like folks be watching like your every move. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So like. I had gotten like some legal trouble, and then like all the blogs was posting that. You know, oh, what I'm not saying? the good and, shit when you yeah, drop the music. Yeah, you feel me exactly. So you know. Then you just got all kind of like a ripple effect from that okay. that type of shit. So yeah, that shit was like blurry. Okay, so going back into it now, diving back in, do you feel like more headstrong now? Do you feel like you kind of know how to play it a little bit better now? Mm-hmm. How you feeling? Yeah, for sure. I definitely know how to blur now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm great. That's why I jump back in that bit like, yeah, let's hit the gas. They know I know how to hit that gas for sure. Okay, so um, so was your fans like reaching out to you all this time? Yeah, like, for sure. Hell I, be, yeah. I, be I can, talk, I can I be imagine talk, your deals was crazy. At that yeah, I be talking to my fans and shit too. You know what I'm saying? For sure, they know like the ones that like really be like tapping in and shit. Mm-hmm. Like I be remembering their they names and shit because okay. like, I see them comment yeah, consistent. all the time. Yeah, consistent. Yeah, on grade, So yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you was at Rolling Loud this year, first time Rolling Loud. How was that? That bit was lit. That bit was super lit. Oh, uh, great. Mm-hmm. Rolling Loud turn that shit. That shit is crazy. All them people being that motherfucker. That was the um, biggest concert or festival you did so far. Yeah, and then I ain't I ain't even perform, but I just came. You were just there, yeah. yeah. I was just, you it know what I'm saying? Ride. I did a, I did an um interview with them. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So that shit. Yeah, I went there, did an interview and shit. But that so that shit. was like more some motivation type shit. Mm-hmm. For sure. Okay. All right, so I see your thing is like black flags and the zombie emoji. Yeah, flag, facts, facts. I got a black flag with me right now. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, so we're going to play a game because mm-hmm. you know how it's, you got the black flag, but they, we also got red flags. So we're going to play this game. You tell me if it's a red flag or not a red flag. All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, a girl with no social media, red flag or not a red flag? It's not a red flag. Okay. That's a no green flag. Okay, good. That's good. Okay. Okay, so a girl that always leaves her phone face down. Red flag or not a red flag? Boy, that's a red flag. Uh, that's a red, a red flag? flag. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. a red flag. Like, what you hiding over there? Yo, I'm good. <laughs> you got going. Okay, when a girl says, I love you during sex, red flag or not a red flag? Yeah, that's a huge red flag. <laughs> <laughs> Moving too fast. Too fast. Too blurry. Okay, a friend that's friends with your enemy. A friend that's friends with my enemy. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that's a red flag. That's a dead flag. Okay. Okay. Um. 
Okay, um, your friend liking your ex photos. Red flag or not a red flag? It's not a red flag. I don't give a damn. Oh, she for everybody yeah, she at that for point? The streets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, producers who try to pursue music. Red flag or not a red flag? That's funny as fuck. <laughs> Boy, I gotta give y'all boys a red flag on that one. Boy. You know what I'm saying? That's some shit you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make motherfuckers on the believe. Person. Yeah, you gotta turn motherfuckers into believers. Cause like, out the gate, you trying to be a producer and you try to be a rapper. So did that happen to you? You in the studio, producer play some shit, and be like I rap too. And then they... one thing I hate is when a producer playing beats for me and they start rapping over that shit. Like, girl, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Like I don't even want to rap on this shit now. Cause I got your garbage ass shit stuck in my head. <laughs> It's like man, switch the blur. Yeah, so they gotta. That's, yeah, so gotta that's a red flag. So you agreeing? Red. Yeah, for sure, that's a red flag. Okay, okay, okay. Um, nicknames. nicknames. A girl giving you a nickname, or like you giving people nicknames. Um. What do you shit. think? I don't think it's really a red flag. When you say it's, it depends, cause you said girl giving me a nickname, and you said cause I be I be giving motherfucking nicknames this shit. But if you on some, if you on some on funny shit, yeah, you know what I'm saying, some cool shit. But but people say like when somebody give you a nickname too quick, it's cause they don't remember your name. For real? That's that's probably that's probably why. <laughs> That's probably why I be calling everybody. What I, I mean, everybody's that. different. So yeah, if you remember, sure. then you remember. But yeah, that makes sense though. So nicknames are red flag or no red flag. I say I say no red flag. Okay. Um breaking your stuff. Get into an argument with a girl, she break your shit up. That's a huge red flag. <laughs> don't touch my stuff. Do not touch my shit. I'm great. Okay. And the last one, um, thirty day trial with a manager. Like if someone wants to, to manage you, you have one. But let's say somebody wants to manage you and you give them a thirty day trial or you want to do a thirty day trial, people, you think that's a red flag or not a red flag? That's not a red flag. That's 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 what again trying to know motherfucking and shit before you really get in the business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's cool. Cause it was like this whole thing on Inst- on um social media where it's like um, you know, like if someone wants to manage you, basically, like how was it again? How was it said? <coughs> yeah, like managers should audition for their role. What you think? Or anybody on your team should audition for their role. Yeah, I think so, for sure. Yeah, I think so. And what does that look like? Like, how, how, what are your thoughts on that? That's, people, that's you like, know. yeah, I think, shit, you come, you come in the field like we really on the job. We just, we, we ain't committed yeah, to nothing yet. But you come yeah. out here and see if you can really, like, handle this shit. Because this shit ain't easy. We staying up late, yeah. waking up early. We, mm-hmm. You feel me? We getting up, moving around. Yeah. Blurring and scurring, scurring and blurring. So definitely just seeing if they even prepare for all of that stuff. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So um, thus far, what would you say is one of your biggest accomplishments? One of my biggest accomplishments, I feel like just um, making it where I'm at today, like, Cause I remember like watching motherfuckers do interviews and shit sitting at home, like mm-hmm. regular digger, little just thinking like, damn, one day I'm gonna be on this, you know what I'm saying? Like okay. one day, and I don't know when, but shit, man, I done been on all kind of platforms. I done, I done opened up for um dirt a couple times, you know what I'm saying? Like on tour, with Berto, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, all kind of crazy shit. So yeah, your boy a rapper now. This shit crazy. Yeah. So, um, so what motivates you to keep going? Shit, just knowing like, just knowing that like motherfuckers be doubting this shit. That shit motivate a nigga keep going for sure. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then like, bit yeah, just knowing that I still got a long way to go. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Definitely got a long way to go. And this shit, like, I'm really trying to be like, I'm really trying to go down, make history in this motherfucker. So, okay. you know, I can't just get to a certain point and then lay down. I got to keep learning. You feel me? Okay, and um, are you signed? Are you independent? How? What's the status I'm, right now? I'm fully independent. Okay. No distro deal, no none of them type of blurs. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody. Mm-hmm. Everybody think I'm signed. That's the funny part. Like folks really be thinking I'm signed, but yeah, see, it, I, it looked like it was all the kind of promo you was getting for sure. That's crazy. See, but I just like meet my team crazy. Like I got my own label. You know what I'm saying? Me and mm-hmm. my partner Crooks. You know what I'm saying? We be okay. going crazy. So like, we got a squad, man. You feel me? And we just be like putting in that work, like. On the marketing from the street side, you know what I'm saying? Moving around and getting shit done, you feel me? Okay. Everybody play their part and make sure this shit works. So, you know, we are the label. So what advice would you give someone that's an independent artist, also running a label, but also still pursuing artistry? What advice would you give them? How do you stay, like, headstrong? I tell them, get a good team, man. Like, for real, like, 
get a good team, but don't force nobody to be on the team, though. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You kind of got to see who wanna, who kind of force themselves in, but on some mm-hmm. genuine shit, though. You right. feel me? And just once, once you, once you, once you got that, like things gonna go a lot smoother. Cause a lot of people doing the shit by themselves, like by themselves, by themselves. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Not for sure. Like they don't even got, they don't even got nobody to ride with them to a show or nothing. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. shit like that. So yeah, like yeah, get you a team, man. See who around you with the same vision type shit. Who kind of got goals like the same like yours and just yeah, put that shit together and make it work, bro. So what's your take on labels? You feel like we need labels. We feel like we got so many resources now. It's unnecessary. A push you know, is a push. I feel like they got they. I feel like they got they. You know pros and cons. Yeah, they got their pros and cons. You feel me? Me personally, I don't feel like I need a label, but I could definitely use a label. Like you know, they got it's certain things that a label could do that you can't do, like certain relationships, shit mm-hmm. like that. You can't buy that relationship. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, really, when it come down to that, it's pretty much that. It's kind of what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But. But bottom line though, like if, if like to be get money in the business and actually have some motion out here, you don't you don't need a label to do that. So how do you I guess stay focused? Like how do you prioritize what's worth it and what's not worth it? Because I'm sure people give you offers and then you got shit mm-hmm. you want to do. Yeah, I just kind of um, how do I judge it? I kind of really just judge it like based on like you know how they how they how they treat they they themselves. You know what I'm saying? So like if I see a platform or some shit and they ask me to, like. They want me to do this, do that. It's like, is they shit even correct? Like when you go to <laughs> they shit, is it organized? Besides yeah. like clout and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's like a first thing. But but besides even that, it's like, do they got their shit set up? Like you see like this shit set up in a real professional <laughs> manner. They been nice and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything blurry, you feel me? You got the squad on point, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah shit like that. So just can't conduct in business overall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, once they conduct business the right way, then we could work, you feel me? Okay. Blur. And what are some of your goals like in the music scene right now um right now so my goals i'm trying to get like my whole label lit you feel me because right now um they just don't mind me on the music side you feel me but mm-hmm. i got a whole label super trap nation you know what i'm saying stm 45 so we um we got rappers producers you feel yeah. me cameramans and shit so trying to get everybody everybody situated so that everybody got their name you feel me mm-hmm. everybody putting on for sure Okay, so what does that look like? Y'all, y'all want to do a tour? You want to sign more artists? That sounds good. We're, we're, that we're not trying to sign more artists right now, cause like I said, I got, I got, I got a members right now for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, definitely. Like we can set up a tour. We finna drop a project. That's the first thing, though. Know? We finna okay. drop a project with all the producers tape and all or the rappers. Yeah, like whatever. like a um, you know, compilation tape. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like on blur, compilation blur. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, great. Okay, um, any other features on it or just artists from the team? Most likely going to be just artists from the team on okay. that one. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Okay, Um, any release date, title, anything can we look forward to? Boy, that one there is a, a super Easter egg right now. We ain't got no blurs as far as the name and shit. We still coming up with that, you know what okay. I'm saying? But we might just name it Super Trap Nation. Okay. Blur. And you have a release date or... Um, for the for the um, nah, I don't got no release date for the for the um compilation. Before the blur. year ends, maybe. But before the year ends, I'm dropping a project called Grave okay. Tobin. You know what okay. I'm saying? Definitely before the year ends, most likely in December. You know what I'm saying? Nice Christmas okay. gift. You feel me? Okay, what could we blurs. expect? What kind of vibes are on there? On Grave Tobin is like Renaissance vibes. It's like Grave Tobin. It's like Beethoven. Okay. Day from the grave. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna get real. Musical on that, okay. Motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, what you great. singing? What is it like? Shit, it's like it's just, it's just real, it's just real, it's just real renaissance, you know. Like, like it's like Beethoven, shit, you feel me? I got them blurs, I got them blurs <laughs> on there, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you be talking that shit, you feel me? So, but yeah, okay. definitely tap in. It's gonna be mad creative, like the sounds and are the, you feeling the like the shit. whole sample wave right now? Yeah, exactly. So a little it's bit gonna of be those? like sample vibes, you feel me? Okay, like, yeah, legendary shit, Grammy music, you feel me? Okay, okay. They're gonna okay. throw a couple of island vibes on there too, you know what I'm saying? So they can catch right what I got going on. You know what I'm okay. Saying? On blur. All right. So um so definitely that before the year is over. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um what else? What else could we look forward to? Shit, we could look forward to a whole lot of blur, you know what I'm saying? You can see me blurring everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Oh, blur. That's your thing. <laughs> Yo, we got a dollar every time you said that. <laughs> Oh, blur. Take a, shot, take, take a shot every time I say blur. <laughs> Nigga, it would be blurry yeah, as fuck. that's too funny. But yeah. <laughs> so tell the people where to find you, where to find your music and all that good stuff. How can they tap in this camera right here? Y'all can find me on Instagram, Dave from the Grave, YouTube, Dave from the Grave. 
My music is on Apple Music, Spotify, Audio Mac, SoundCloud, all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's you can find your boy at. You feel me? You can find all my members. Once you find my page, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Super Trap Nation, Fortify, the label page. We following all the members and shit. We got CEO Crooks, you know what I'm saying? STM Fortify Security. All that good shit, all that hood shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Sure. All right, okay. And we out of here.